Hey guys, um, that's me, Nick, from King Engineering. Um, yeah, RSS 6. This is actually a bit of a sad day for the shop, as we're changing out to a job shop. Um, a job shop, the job shop style of workshop due to personal circumstance and reasons that I don't particularly want to go into in this video which they'll be you'll see them you'll see them through later videos like RSS 7 and that because we're buying a, we're in the process of buying a Sheraton 9A maybe in the Maybe on the weekend, possibly, and then um, next weekend I won't be able to do any footage because I'm out doing some stuff. And during the weekend I'll try and get some footage of us, of, a, of us uh, bringing it home. Reason why we're doing that is because of the. Um, well, I can't shoot with the other side of the thing, but see if I can get her in shot. This, the C2, I've actually sold that on Facebook Marketplace because it never gets used and it's way too small for what I want to do. So with that you get a oiler and uh, a drill, a drill chuck. You get a 17 and a 14 open-ended spanner. You don't get a ring spanner. Unfortunately, you don't get a ring spanner with it. And you also get a 8-inch 8 8-inch 8 bench grinder to help. It's just to help fund what I want to do so I can sort the welders out, sort out my portable welding bench and bring that near. And maybe on the later videos, we'll end up being in the machine shop doing fuck doing far, oh, far out fuck doing um, fun projects like pins and bushes and that sort of style of job that sort of stuff tapers parts oil can bits and bo bits and bobs just standard general machining odds and sods I'm also in the process of, I don't know what I'm doing with my 250 yet, and probably keeping that for a while. The 9A, I'm pretty sure, can only, the Sheraton 9A can only do um, Imperial Threads? Imperial Threading, I think. And I think all the dials on that are going to be in Thou. It's going to be fun. As I need to learn how to read imperial um, drawings and imperial micrometers, imperial verniers and that. Because I know on an imperial mic, yeah, I think A-bomb. I think A-bomb 79 and Mr. Pete 222 on YouTube have um, given me a little bit of an idea, but I still don't have an idea so just a shout out to those two channels on teaching me about imperial slightly imperial but um i guess it's just a matter of uh time before she gets to know everything and she gets to sink in she gets to sink into my brain so yeah just kept watching the channel as we um do our own thing now and Start getting a little bit more in depth in machining and fabrication. I'm sad, but at the same time, I've gone through that many different machines and I've never managed to pick up the best, what I would call fit for my needs, best machine for my needs and capabilities and how I want to do things because as much as I prefer the older iron 
I've had a number of issues and some shit with the old nut oil herbert that I had a little ages ago, which I don't think I ever did a full video on, but you know, we're only just starting up the channel, so we're just shooting with we're just shooting with my mobile phone at the moment until I can get a camera and get my computer sorted. <clears throat> Excuse me, so I can do some editing and that. If you've got any comments, please leave them down below. Please leave a like, leave a like, give me a like, a comment, a subscribe, whatever. Please like, comment, and subscribe on the video, and I'll um catch you. I don't know, maybe. Tomorrow, maybe Wednesday, maybe Thursday, maybe Friday, maybe Saturday, maybe Sunday, but it might even be next week. So, thank you for watching. Stay tuned and we'll get we'll get you up and running on some of the some of the um updates with the with the new with the shirt and lay. Sorry, I'm getting tongue twisted here. I'm trying to rattle a lot of information, trying to rattle a lot out, trying to go through and nut everything out while I'm talking to you guys, but my head's just going 100 mile an hour, so that happens, I'm used to it oh shit, sorry I'm flicking a spanner around, I'll actually I better put that over here, over there, cause so I don't annoy you guys, yeah I've had also I've had some really hurtful comments in the past about having down syndrome and all that, which I don't have. I don't even have a disability or anything like that. Just to clarify some things, hence why I've deleted the other videos that were on the channel before I started doing all this. You guys will end up seeing, uh, seeing me around with pe other people and that when I try and sort my life out because I'm trying to nut things out. I might be with the Sheraton. I'm debating whether to run carbide or high speed steel or both carbide and high speed but I have to find I have to figure it all out because I'm trying to start a bit of I'm trying to do what a both A bomb and Bruce do. I know the idea didn't come from Bruce and Abom to run a job shop. It just came from um, a lot of setbacks, trying to settle into jobs, that sort of thing. It's just a, it's just personal circumstance. And as much as I do enjoy my machining, I can't seem to find a job that will let me take an apprenticeship in that in that field, particular field. So I'm kind of a little bit, I wouldn't say upset, more disheartened and disappointed than anything else, else cause, because I can't get back into something that I enjoy doing, so I've just gone and I'm having no luck with my applications and other things and I know people have told me to not give up but just a bit of a personal little bit of a personal story on that how i well, i'll share that i'll share that one in another video because we're about nine minutes just about under nine just under nine minutes and i don't want to make my videos too long because i yeah i don't want to bore you guys with youtube and that you guys will see me around a fair bit working on different things cars uh pins shaves cutting keyways, splining shaves when I get to writing heads. It'll end up being just full on full time YouTube and full time job in my own shop, so wait and see what happens and if it goes well I'll bring you guys along for the ride. If it goes like shit, I'll bring you guys along for the ride too. Like I've said before, please like, comment and subscribe and also share my channel around. Yeah, I'm a member of a machining group on YouTube, and it's YouTube Machinists, so if anyone's on there watching my um, videos and that, be shout out to you guys, just seeing what you guys come up with and stuff like that. Yeah, I went to an event, which, uh, a gig, last, yeah, last week, 
not last week, week before, yeah, week before last week, Sunday, and won a Bunnings gift card, so I ended up getting some big shifters and a big five litre bucket WD-40, stay tuned for that, that'll be on another video. Yeah, it's, uh, thanks for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll um, catch you on the next one. Bye.